All right, brand new Dash Miner uh, D3. Just uh, it's um, issue number one, very first ones that they sent out to the public to use. Just pulled it out of the box. Uh, already got it set up. As you can see, I label every one of my machines with their machine number is going to be Dash number um, when I got it brand new. Um, but on the L3 Pluses, the D3's got the same problem that the L3 Pluses got right here. You lose about 30% of your airflow, of your heat, right out here. It all just comes pouring out of these holes into your mining room. Even with the uh, exhaust port on it, like I put here, it uh, still um, heats up your room quite a bit. But uh, I built a special box to put these in. Uh, you saw it a little bit earlier, but I'm not going to actually put this in there just yet until after I get thermal readings on it, see how hot the sides get and everything like that before I commit to putting it in that particular box. If it works out okay, then great. But uh, I'm getting ready to go and hook this up. These things are as simple as can be to hook up. This is why I say buy a switch. Don't buy a router for these. And I'll show you why here in just a second. Let me go ahead and get this into uh, my little mining room here. I already got a spot picked out for it that I'm going to put it on. Alright. You can see I already got the tube there. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. So I can at least get most of this hot air out of here until I know what this machine's going to be doing. As you can see, I've already got the power cables all right here ready to go. I just need to plug them in. One. Two. have this power supply set up for another another L3 plus which I'll, I'm getting a bunch more of those at the end of this week so already picked it to come in my special little power supply I'll be able to power one L3 plus and the D3 off this one power supply this is 2400 volts so it meets all the requirements to run all of them that's and like I say it's kind of a nice little setup um, I think it's uh, something a lot of you would be really interested in. Um, but uh, if you want them, just go ahead and uh, uh, follow the links that I'm going to post in the uh, um, in the uh, the comments on the on uh, my on my uh, video, so you can actually get them. But they work beautifully. Uh, right now, I'm like I said, right now, you see here from my previous videos, three machines all off of one power supply unit. Not a single problem with them, no overheating, no nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with these things. Uh, so, anyway, I pre set up uh, for the box down here that I have for them. I already did all the, made all the network cables and everything. So, the one that this one's going to actually get, I've already got pinned out in there. It goes up here to my router. Some of my old equipment up here. If I want it, let me know. Uh, I'll sell to you for a good price. I just need to get rid of all this old equipment. <laughs> need to make room for everything I've got coming. Um, anyway, right now we're all plugged in. We got the power in there. Now all we got to do is turn it on. This little button right here. Machines now powered up. 
start to see the uh, network cable light flash. Um, just got to give it a chance to boot up. We'll see what the IP address is here shortly. While we're waiting on the uh, IP address, I'll go ahead and uh, log into the amp pool. For some reason it decided to jump around on me. Because on this one, I'm just going to go ahead and use the regular amp pool. So, give me a second here while I uh, log in. This is just one of my really old computers, so it's a little bit slower than most. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and set the phone down for a second uh, while I log in. Oh, you can hear that thing really gearing up now. Fans running. I think this might actually be louder than the L3 Pluses. Good thing I got a room for them to sit in. Almost done logging in. Uh, they make this as hard as they can to log us in here. I'll have it here in a second. Once you enter your password correctly, then it uh, goes back as you re-enter it, and then also enter in a uh, numeric, alphanumeric code that it supplies you afterwards. Just did it again. running. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my other computer and I'm going to go ahead and set it up on there because obviously this one's just not going to work. So give me just a second. We'll run in here and do it in here. logged in in here so this kind of works out okay for me let me go ahead and open this up real quick there we go
Okay, now all I need to do is get the IP address on this thing and then I'll be able to log right in. I'm still waiting on this to load. There we go. Should be the one. Right there. So I just log in this way. Enter the information. I am now in the miner. As you can see, it's the same setup that the L3 Pluses have. And right now, it's mining for someone else, not me. <laughs> um, hold on a second here. Let me double check that pool. Dashboard here. Uh, dash ant pool .com. Oh, that's perfect. That works for me. Same pools. Just need to go to minor configuration and put in my username. Save and apply. It's going into the reboot cycle. You can kind of see it right there. I just heard the machine change in volume sound. So let's go over to minor status now. And we should start seeing here in just a couple of minutes. The machine start, starting to come up. It's just got to finish its reboot. And then over on the ant pool side, I should start seeing something here shortly too. As soon as uh, the machine completely reboots. Ah, there we go. We just got our first bit of information. Look at that thing. Right out of the box. 13, 4, or 17, 430. 15.8 <laughs> So this thing is doing what everybody is saying that it's going to be doing that's going to be actually pushing a little bit more I'll have to watch that for a while just to verify it, but If that's going to be the case I I'll take it. That's <laughs> purchase well worth it Now let's see if uh, anything's starting to show up over here yet uh, Nope, it looks like I've got to wait about 20 minutes or so for uh, something to start showing up over here. But, like I said, I already know that it's pushing it. Uh, man, right real close to 17. Let's refresh that again. 17.2. That's even better. Uh, so this thing is actually pushing a lot better than it shows. Cool part about this little machine you can actually add a fourth hash board to it. So if you find someone that's parting out a machine and you can get a hold of that hash board, it's already got the plug and everything on there. All you'd have to do is build a stand for it and a way to cool it. And you just plug it in, turn your machine back on, and it'll pick up that fourth hash board and uh, increase uh, your hash rate another uh, five giga hashes. Uh, and I don't know why Bitmain didn't do that in the first place, but... That was their call. Anyway, go ahead and uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Um, hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of how easy these things are to get up and running. Uh, especially when you're using the uh, ant pool. That helps out quite a bit at that point. Uh, they already, already come pre-configured, as you can see. 
all you have to do is put your username and password in, and then uh, you're up and running. All right. Uh, thanks for watching.